His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding official working hours during the holy month of Ramadan. The Kingdom's ministries, authorities and public institutions' official workday will be from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. throughout the holy month. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, during which he congratulation and congratulations were exchanged on the occasion of the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing the two countries, people, many happy returns. They also hailed the deep ties of brotherhood that unite the two countries and two brotherly people and the progress witnessed between them at various levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired a meeting of the government's executive committee held remotely. His Royal Highness highlighted that safeguarding the health of citizens and residents remains the kingdom's top priority. Furthermore, he added that the success of Team Bahrain's efforts to contain the and eradicate COVID-19 rely on the whole community adhering to official public health guidelines. The Crown Prince noted the importance of the holy month of Ramadan, adding that additional precautions guidelines will be issued to preserve the health and safety of all during the holy month. Following a report on precautionary measures that have been taken to mitigate the spread of the virus presented by the National Medical Task Force to combat the COVID-19, headed by the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the following preventive measures were reiterated during the holy month of Ramadan. Iftar will be limited to small family gatherings, refraining from organizing and or attending Ramadan majlises and ghabkas, refraining from hosting public iftar banquets, refraining from girka'un and wada gatherings, refraining from the public distribution of iftar packages and zakat al-fitr kiosk will be replaced with electronic platforms and applications for the collection and distribution of zakat al-fitr. In addition, the following enterprises will continue to operate as normal, hypermarkets, supermarkets, cold stores, the butchers as well as stores that sell vegetables, fish or meat, all forms of bakeries, all petrol gas stations, hospitals, clinics, pharmacies and opticians, banks and money exchange agencies, factories and manufacturing enterprises, administrative offices of enterprises whose activities do not involve direct interaction with customers, enterprises that export, import or dispute goods, automotive workshops and garages and shops that sell spare parts, enterprises in the construction and maintenance sector, effective from from 7 p.m. on the 23rd of April 2020 until the 7th of May 2020, the following decisions will be implemented. Movie theaters, commercial sports, gymnasiums, fitness studios, salons, swimming pools and centers for recreational activities will remain closed. Shisha cafes and services offered by these cafes are limited to takeout and delivery of food only. Restaurants, tourist facilities and location services, food are to remain limited to external orders and delivery services. All non-essential medical services provided by private health clinics are to remain suspended. The first hour of grocery store opening remains dedicated to the elderly and pregnant women. Public gatherings are to remain limited to five individuals or fewer. Individuals are encouraged to stay at home as much as possible and only leave home when necessary. Face masks are to be worn by all citizens and residents when in public. Commercial and industrial enterprises providing goods or services directly to customers are to be limited to online sales and deliveries. And telecom service centers will provide customer services under necessary circumstances while abiding by social distancing measures. The government's executive committee concluded by reiterating the importance of following established public health guidelines which have been issued to preserve the health and safety of citizens and residents during the holy month of Ramadan and beyond. The Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs Legal Panel for Moon Sighting announced it will hold its meetings at the Council's headquarters on Wednesday, the 22nd of April. The SCIA said it will receive reports about sighting the new moon of Ramadan and urged witnesses to report the sighting of the crescent. The members of the Board of Trustees of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research commemorated the passing of 40 days of the late Sheikh Isa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, which has been broadcasted via different electronic platforms. The center's chairperson of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that this occasion revives the memory of the late post of the late poet Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, who was a key figure in the Bahraini history and culture, and who. Had 
had contributed immensely to youth and sports in the kingdom. She recalled his humanitarian and social initiatives, stating that his efforts had made him a national icon to the people of Bahrain. The member of the Board of Trustees, Hassan Kamal, recited a eulogy in the member of the late Sheikh. The center also published a book on this occasion. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments related to COVID-19. The Minister of Health, Faiq Salah, affirmed that all authorities will continue their efforts to combat the spread of the virus. She lauded the awareness of the citizens and called on the public to continue adhering to the regulations issued by the official authorities. She emphasized the number of the precautionary measures, including limiting of iftar gatherings to close family members only, abstaining from participating in ghabgas and public iftar events, and not distributing of our food in public. She also noted that zakah should be paid electronically. As Saleh announced that noted the importance of following the appropriate implementation of these instructions. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayda Zayani, stated that the main objective was to provide sufficient supply during the holy month of Ramadan. It has been issued by the Executive Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to open essential shops starting Thursday the 23rd of April at 7 p.m. until Thursday the 7th of May. The first opening hour of shops will continue to be dedicated to pregnant women and elderly as Zayed announced that the ministry's IT directorate will launch a website that provides the services and commodities of over 100 companies operating in the kingdom where people would be able to make purchases online. He called on the Romanian companies to take part in this initiative. The Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tarak Al Hassan, stated that upon the directive of the executive committee, the Minister of Interior conducted a meeting with the authorities concerned to check the geographical places of residential density of expatriate workers in order to move them to less populated areas in cooperation with old governorates. He affirmed that this initiative aims to maintain the health of the community as well as the safety of expatriate workers. This initiative aims to decrease the population density of residential buildings of expatriate workers. He noted that there will be medical supervision during this process to ensure proper implementation. The infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, noted the importance of changing some of the practices of the holy month of Ramadan in line with the precautionary measures outlined to mitigate the spread of the virus. He stated that the current goal is to decrease the number of critical and active cases. al Gahtani added that the number of active cases will continue to increase mainly because of the increase of the number of tests conducted. He noted that this is a good sign as it signifies a large capacity of laboratory apparatus. He called on the community to continue implementing the regulations of social distancing. Meanwhile, regarding plasma treatment, al Gahtani announced that the second batch of donors have been accepted and, they, and he extended his thanks and appreciation to them for this initiative. He added that an online forum will be conducted on Saturday where all the updates concerning the coronavirus will be discussed and during which international expertise will be exchanged between medical professionals. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at the Salmania Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, noted that all teams will continue to intensify their efforts in combating the virus during the holy month of Ramadan. As Salman stated that among all active cases, only two are critical. She emphasized the importance of avoiding family gatherings as much as possible, according to the directives of the Ministry of Health.